It is currently 10.53 a.m. And for the next 24 hours, I'm gonna go from idea to finished app, submitted to the app store. The first step is the idea. To be totally honest, I have no idea what to build. So we're gonna brainstorm. I think a good starting point is to look at apps that I could build in eight to 12 hours. I'm seeing a lot of like meditation and eh, like sleep tracking, intermittent fasting. I could do a weather app. Nah. A whoopee cushion app. <laughs> Every creative person knows that one of the best ways to come up with ideas is to procrastinate and call it brainstorming. So I'm gonna go walk my dogs now and hopefully something pops in my head. Ugh. All right, where were we? I'm also learning Spanish and I think like a flashcard Spanish one would be cool, but like nothing's jumping out at me. Here's a quick time update. 11.49 and I'm nowhere. So I have a spreadsheet for when I get paid and I track like a budget. For example, I have a certain amount that I want to go into saving. So I kind of like fill that in. So that could be cool too, like a budget checklist app. Okay, yeah, and then you could forecast. Then you could say like, well, if you continue at this rate, in six months, you'll have $10,000 saved. And also you could have like a cool graph to display like how much of your money is going where. Okay, Logan, okay. The juices are flowing, the dog walk worked. Who knew all you had to do was take a walk, huh? We got our idea, baby. I think, maybe. And it's only 11.53. The creativity tip works, ladies and gentlemen. Go waste some time. All right, so the next part is mock-ups. I'm envisioning like three screens. One of them can be your checklists, like gathered. Like this is your paycheck from August 1st. Here's how you divided it. And then yeah, there'd be a forecasting tool. I like the idea of forecasting. We could make that screen like very, very just sleek and simple and like, if I, you could do all text even. If I save, and save can be like a drop down menu. Yeah, if I blank this amount for blank blanks, if I save $500 for six months, that screen could be quickly developed. And then for the money budgeting tool, this screen will be how users save their preferences but essentially divide your money up and we'll put it into a nice pretty little circle graph for you cool this is simple enough i think anytime you do like a design or mock-ups or anything like things change but it's good to have a target instead of just sitting there with like analysis paralysis on what you should build so i always like to just go i always like to just start get something down. If you hate it, then scrap it, but it might lead you to the next thing. So my advice is to just design, code, write, start, anything, whatever it is, just fucking start. And that will lead you to your solution, I think. So yeah, we have our mockups. It's gonna be three screens. It's gonna be free. I need to start thinking about like sign up and log in. I hate, <laughs> Hey! Ziva! Hi, Andy. This is Andy and Ziva. They helped me get my idea. Who's out there? Who's out there? Okay, back to work. Uh, I'm gonna take a break now because I feel like I kicked ass for the past two hours and I should have made this video building an app in five hours instead of 24. How to how to manage your time efficiently, and f how to build an app in five hours. Huh? Just kidding. I'll probably waste a good bit of time now. We're gonna take a break. Okay, so I took a really long break. It's currently 4.35. So I think we're in a good spot. We have our, we have our mock-ups. I feel like I can build pretty quickly. So that's what I'm gonna do right now.
Okay, so I have an update. The first screen I built was the forecast view because I feel like it would be the easiest to build. Uh, this is what it looks like in light mode. And this is what it looks like in dark mode. User would replace this with say $500 for 12 months. I will have $6,000. And then if you switch this to years, it'll be 72,000. I love the rounded font. It reminds me of Cash App. And for this screen, I just wanted it to be kind of minimal design. The purpose here is just to get the user excited about what they could have in the future. So next, I wanted to look at the budgeting view. So for this screen, I knew I wanted to have like total paycheck across the top. And I wanted to have your budget categories below it. I wanted different colors to represent the different categories in the pie chart. So here you have your savings as blue. And then we have the percentage with the dollar value. I also decided to create static categories instead of allowing the user to say like, I'm going to put a hundred bucks a month toward my vacation fund. I just tried to create broad categories to be totally honest. It's just easier to build, but I tried to create the categories in a way that it was broad enough so that any sort of expense or budget category could kind of fall under these five. I think the pie chart looks really cool. It's very colorful. And since we're constrained for time, I'm going to move forward with this. The app is coming together, but I need an icon and I need a name. So I don't have time to like brainstorm some super catchy name or anything. The one that popped in my head was paycheck check. There's no apps called paycheck check, but the idea was like, it's a paycheck. You check it, checklist, check your budget, paycheck check. And for the app icon, what I wanted to do was have basically like dollar signs faded in the background on like a green background and then have two white check marks above it. So I had this login screen built that made this look like a Barney themed app and we're not using that. Thank God. I don't think login is necessary for this app. I just want it to be quick, easy, simple. You do your budget and you're done. And it's also gonna be free because why not, right? So I just finished the list. So across the top you have my paychecks and then the plus button will allow you to add a new one. You know, this isn't breathtaking, this isn't amazing, but like it's workable and I'm gonna use this personally. I think a lot of the creative process is like cutting all the extra shit that you added and wanted to have in it and kind of narrowing it down to its simplest form. What is absolutely needed here? And I think we have like a workable MVP here um, the design is sort of minimal but i like that so now it comes down to submitting it to the app store boom so there it is officially submitted to the app store it is 9 52 a.m on sunday july 31st so there's your proof we did it thank you so much for watching and subscribe for more